Hey everybody, welcome to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial. I'm glad you guys are watching today because I'm going to be pretty much ending the image trace little series that we had going on there. And um, this tutorial is going to be about converting the traces to a path. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that your image has been image traced already. And to do that, you can just use one of the presets. So this image is image traced already. And you can tell because um, the view is tracing result. And here's the source image. This is what it was before. <clears throat> now, when you finish image tracing an object, you can convert it to a path. And that's also called expanding. And you can see that the expand button is up here in the control panel. And when you expand an image trace object, it doesn't... It, it pretty much isn't an image trace object anymore. It's no longer that. It becomes a standard path, which you can reshape and recolor if you want. So now you have more control after you've got your trace perfect. So let's go ahead and expand this. We're going to click on Expand. And now we can see that all the different paths that we've got here. I'm going to grab my Direct Selection tool and try to grab something here. grabbing a whole lot of things but it looks like um, I'm getting the back let me fit this to the screen so I can uh, deselect stuff there we go so now I can grab that little piece there um, if I click on the sky it's gonna grab the entire sky and I could delete it if I wanted to so that's a good way to get the background out if you if you wanted to and then um, I've got my different parts here like I could delete out that part of the wing and then it goes to white. So now it's fully editable as well. So you can move these uh, anchor points around. And this is where you would want to try to keep your points down when you're um, doing your image trace. Now when we were doing it, there was a little info panel that had uh, the amount of anchor points and the amount of different colors and everything in there. So it's a good idea to keep an eye on that when you're doing image traces. So let's go over here to our layers panel and open it up. And if you don't have the layers panel showing, which are these two like little squares on top of each other, go to window and then go to layers. The hot key for it is F7. Um, if I twirl down layer one and twirl down the group, we're going to see all the different little pieces that are in it. And this is what some companies will actually do. They'll, grab an image off the off like Google Images or something like that and they'll do a live trace on it and then they'll go back to one of those websites that where you pay for images and they'll pretty much just resell it back to you after they live traced it for like 30 bucks or something like that and that's how some people make money so if you're thinking about doing that that could be a, a career path for you that you're thinking of or like a side job just to earn extra some extra money on the side so the only thing about it is make sure you have like the rights from the people that actually took the picture to be able to use it or else you might end up getting sued. And it's also just kind of like dishonest to be taking people's work and making it into your own and trying to make money off of it. It's a little okay. It's it's okay if you're using it just for your own personal purposes, but if you're trying to make money off of it, then you should at least give credit. So that's it for this tutorial, and I hope you like the series, uh, the little mini series on image tracing. It's a very, very helpful tool, and it allows you to take photos from the real world and cr and turn them into vectors in Illustrator, which you can, if you can think of, is incredibly powerful because you can make about anything you want. So if you have a Say you have a little photography, a little studio or something like that. One of those shadow boxes. Put some objects in there that you want to make into vectors. Take pictures of them and then image trace them into vectors. And then you go off and sell them if you want. Or use them for your project. So that's all i got to tell you about the image tracing. So I'm really glad you guys viewed the tutorials. Be sure to subscribe and keep up. The next tutorial, we're going to learn how to apply graphic styles, which is kind of like 
Photoshop filters to your objects. So 